Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video, I will uh, try to teach you how to draw a histopathology diagram of basal cell carcinoma in HND. So uh, in the previous video, we already covered in details the concept of basal cell carcinoma. It is the most common malignant tumor of the skin and it arises from the basal layer of the epidermis and also from the follicular epithelium. So uh, when we draw a diagram, we should know few points beforehand. So first is <clears throat> these cells, the tumor cells in a case of BCC, they are basaloid in appearance. So they are small sized cells with a central nucleus and scanty amount of cytoplasm. So when the tumor nest, we, we see the tumor nest, so they will be more bluish in appearance because the area covered by the nucleus is sufficient to make it appear blue rather than pink and because the cytoplasm is less in amount as they are basaloid <clears throat> so these are the nests which are blue in appearance and the important point about these nests is presence of peripheral palisading it means that the outermost layer of the tumor cells they are showing perpendicular arrangement to the tumor nest so they have a peripheral palisading pattern this is characteristic for basal cell carcinoma so it is important to draw the tumor nest with the basaloid cells in the center and in the outer side you draw these peripherally palisading nuclei so in the last video also i already told you uh, what is the meaning of palisade so palisade are these fence like things and here in the bcc <coughs> the nest in the outermost layer also these uh, this palisading appearance is seen just like these palisades so these cells in the outermost layer they are perpendicularly arranged to these nest so this was the first important thing to note and the second important thing is in bcc <clears throat> the tumor cells nest they will be having some connection with the epidermis at some point so in this diagram this is the epidermis and then this is the dermis and the tumor is arising from the basal layer and here it is having a connection so we have to draw a connection from the uh, epidermis at some point and the next thing is uh, the tumor which is present in the form of nodules so we have to draw a peripheral peritumoral clear area around these tumor nest so this is an artifact which is seen during the processing in the BCC sections so the this is a stroma and these are the tumor nest and in between these there is this clear space which is called as clefting artifact so this clefting artifact is very very characteristic of BCC and it helps in differentiating BCC from its closed differential diagnosis like trichoepithelioma so this clefting artifact again you have to remember when we draw this diagram so and the and the most common uh, variants of BCC are like superficial BCC, nodular BCC. So in nodular BCC, the nodules they are invading deep in the dermis, and then uh, at some point this nodule is connected to the epidermis. So these are the points that we need to keep in mind before drawing the diagram of BCC. So now, now let's proceed to drawing this diagram. So let's start. So first we draw the epidermis we know the epidermis is made up of stratified squamous epithelium so it has multiple layers so there is a basal layer then there are multiple polygonal cell layers and then in the topmost there is stratum corneum and then it is keratinized so on the topmost on the top layer is of keratine so first we draw this stratified squamous epithelium now we have to show the connection of the tumor to the epidermal layers so here we draw a nodule a tumor nodule and with the peripheral palisading of the cells you can see here then we draw the nucleus these are the basaloid cells so they are small in size and they have got a nucleus in the center scanty cytoplasm so they are blue looking tumor nest so these tumor nest and tumor islands they are seen penetrating the dermis so they can reach even till the deep dermis so this is a nodular variant of BCC so we draw multiple nodules and the important point is peripheral palisading of the nuclei in the outermost layer 
again we draw this so we have drawn these tumor nest with peripheral palisading nuclei now we have to draw the stroma and the stroma will show the clefting artifact so here we have drawn the stroma and around the tumor nodules there is peritumoral clear area of clefting so these clefts are clefts we have to draw so this clear space around the, the around these nodules now in the stroma we can draw these fibroblast so this is a stroma which is basically dermis and in BCC we can also have some mucoid deposits so there is mucoid degeneration of the stroma so these blue blobs these signify the mucoid areas so this is the completed diagram of BCC now lastly the labeling so the epidermis then the tumor nest the artifact clefting artifact then these palisading nuclei we will label the mucoid area of degeneration then these fibroblasts in the stroma so epidermis tumor nest or nodules then the clefting artifact this clear area next peripheral palisading of the nuclei then mucoid degener degeneration in the stroma and then lastly the stromal fibroblast we can also label the basal layer of epidermis from which this tumor is arising so this is how we complete the diagram of basal cell carcinoma so i hope uh, it will help you to draw this diagram whenever a question comes in the exams and if any doubt is there then you can ask me in the comment section hope it is of help thank you very much